today we are going to look at how to use the expo router so basically i will build out a generic app uh, where i will use the tabs and stacks so i will build it in such a way that when i log in uh, there would be an auth layout and inside that auth layout there would be tabs and this auth layout would check if the auth is present or not if the auth is not present it is going to take me to the login screen or otherwise it is going to take me to the dashboard so let's start so to create uh, an expo app i'm just going to use and click create expo app latest uh, let's the name this as rn expo router okay let's cd into the project okay and uh, as mentioned in the command we can use npm run ios so i'm going to open the project in nm so we have an app folder we have assets and components constants hooks and scripts so basically what we are going to do is get rid of all these so this is what it will look like and we are going to use npm run reset project to remove everything which we don't need so we'll do npm run reset project okay so we should ideally have a clean slate now the things which i am left with is the app folder and inside the app folder we have a layout and an index you can consider layout as something like a middleware or kind of a container on top of the route so whenever you want to visit index it is going to go through the layout so this gives a very handy way to do your something like auth logic here so let's see how to do that later on but now i will try to create the folder structure very quickly so let's start by adding a auth folder so anything inside auth uh, will put for all the routes where the authentication is needed anything where the authentication is not needed like a login we are going to put at the root let's quickly add a login route as well so any component or file which you create inside the app folder it is going to treat it the export router is going to treat it as a route so login becomes a route okay and in the layout you could define something like this which is and you could say act dot screen name is equal to uh, login so this is going to put the login in the root layout stack so let's create some of the authenticated routes so we have to create a underscore layout which is going to perform uh, which is going to perform that auth check and any route inside the auth folder will always go through this check to test it out let me create another route or basically you want to move index to auth so the index i have moved to auth so basically the expo router is going to look at the folder structure and try to find index and to find that index it is going to go through layout and then index so similar to what we have on the root layout we are going to create the auth layout so let's copy everything and we're going to put it inside the inside the uh, auth layout and let's call it auth layout and definitely we don't want to put login here so what you're going to put is index okay so when you re-render you can see that we have two headers here which is auth and index so basically it is going through the auth and then the index okay so that is cool and we don't want to show the auth headers here so what you could do here is go to index uh, sorry the root layout and let's add the the auth uh, root to the stack 
So let's do a spec of screen and we are going to add screen options. So and we're going to say header shown is equal to false. So you need to pass this configuration here. So this will going to this is going to get rid of the header on this stack. Okay, so for now everything is working fine. Uh, let's put the auth check here. So what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to assume a constant for now. So basically what you're gonna do is just define a constant is logged is authenticated and we let's call it is authenticated is false. Okay. And then what you're going to do is if if not authenticated, then you are going to redirect to login trap login let's add something to the login. So we are going to do import let's do a text uh defaults on function login and we are going to return return view uh this looks fine okay so basically i missed one thing which is return redirect so this is going to return a redirect component which is going to redirect to login so if you can see here if i change it to true then and when i refresh it it is going to take me to index otherwise it is going to take me to login so basically you can create a session context provider and then wrap it wrap this layout into the provider and then use the session provider to check if the user is authenticated or not and then redirect accordingly so i'm not going to go into the authentication provider details but what i'm going to do is uh going to add tabs so let's add tabs here so basically what you're gonna do is add tabs so and inside the tabs you are again going to add layout okay you could basically copy the things which are there here which are there inside layout so basically it would be my export there is gonna be different export default function which is not logged in it is the tab layout and this is going to return tab this is going to return tabs so basically what you're going to do is this is going to be something like this tabs, and we are going to put different tabs inside it and obviously we are going to import tabs and that import is from from export router okay so we're going to import tabs and then inside the tabs we are going to add tab dot screens so you're gonna say tab dot screen and then you're gonna put in your tab here dot screen so let's try add this mm -hmm. uh, so we'll quickly add two tabs uh let's do it uh, basically this is going to be uh you could uh move index inside the tabs so i'm going to do that so let's move it inside tabs so index is going to be the first tab itself and let's quickly create another route which is called set index we are going to add something like what we did in login we are going to just copy paste that mm -hmm. we missed um, curly brace here and let's change it to settings let's change the function name to settings okay this looks fine let's look at our tabs and let's reload the page it should work fine okay now we get tabs and settings okay and again definitely you would like to remove the tabs which is here so let's do that so first we have to add the tabs here so instead of index it is going to be and in tabs you could say options and that is shown virtually false so this is going to hide it okay and you can see that if you want to apply a title here so basically what you could do is add an option here and do a title and say home and similarly for settings you could do that settings okay so you have your home and settings here tool so one thing which you could also do is change the icon so i'm going to do that so in options you could add tab bar icon 
so let's do that tab by icon and you could uh, return anything here any component so you could here you could use any uh, icon here so what i'm going to do is quickly do an import font awesome and awesome font awesome and this is going to be from so okay and this we are going to change it to font awesome and add a comma here so this is not needed and you can see that we have a icon here so similarly we're going to add the same thing here i'll get the icon on the settings as well now change the settings to something like a profile mm -hmm. okay i don't think so we have settings do we have a gear yeah so i think we don't need so much gears so only one gear will suffice so here you can see that i have successfully added uh, the icons as well so, and i'm going to tell you one more thing that if you want to create another route at which is an authenticated route so basically what would you need is basically create a route which is probably some details or uh, basically create page so let's say so let's add create that tsx uh, so when you want to add create that tsx what you're going to do is add it under the stack at the auth layout so green name this is not going to be settings this is going to be create okay. and then you're going to add some options you could put a title to it say title is create something okay and if you want to navigate from inside the tab to the create page what you're gonna do is let's add a link uh, i hope we have a link so we have a link coming from export router and then we are going to add the link okay this is not going to work obviously we are going to do an href create something and then we are going to take him to auth create which is auth create so this is going to take me to auth create okay let's see okay this is going to show me page not found this could be because i did not uh, reload the root layout so let's reload it okay so it's not taking me to create let's see why so basically i'm going to copy the contents of login and then I'm going to paste it here modify which is create and then create something okay let's check if this solves the problem now you can see that i'm going to create something out okay one thing you can see here is then when i have tabs as the back arrow here okay and this we could remove it if we would add some screen options here okay so i would like to only have screen options where i do not see this text on the back button so you could do it in multiple ways okay so suppose if you only want to do it in the create page what you're gonna do is there's an option called header back button display mode so it has few options which is default minimum generic i think minimal will remove the text okay so if you see this has removed the text here and if you want to remove or have a similar behavior for all the screens inside a stack so what you could say is options uh screen options and then say header scroll to minimal and then you don't need this here so this would again have the similar behavior so anything inside the stack will take screen options so if you want to individually apply options you could just apply it on the stack screen so this is basically it so i will summarize so what we did was we have a root layout or all the authenticated routes inside the auth folder and the non-authenticated ones outside the auth folder and we are putting the check the auth check here so anything which is inside the auth folder we have a layout to put the check and the behavior here is so if i do false so the user is not authenticated if i reload the app it is going to take me to the login page 
if the if the uh, if the user is authenticated then if i reload the page it is going to take me to the tab and you could style your tabs accordingly 